Good morning to you all. Something a little bit different today. Um, in a way, it's probably a memory test. So we've sort of got three items that I remember as a child. Although the first one, I personally do not remember. I think I was just a baby in arms at the time. But let me talk about it. This was, um, looks like a boating pond, but it was water reserved for the fire service or the fire service which dealt with bomb damage through World War II. And it was set up the actual area was between, it was the junction of the Bushy Road and the Kingston Road. This was in Wimbledon Chase. I don't remember the actual pond or it was a water reserve. But obviously my father did and he took the photo. I, as I say, would probably be a babe in arms. So... In all honesty, I do not remember this. Does anyone else remember this? It came up oh, some years after the war, I think. I never, as I say, I never saw it like that. I just saw it as a an area of darkened ground where it had been standing. But it was the water reserve for the fire services provided during the wartime. So there's a bit of history there. This is possibly 19... Hmm, four, well, I turned up in 44, so this is probably similar age, 44, 4, 45. So that's the first little thing I remember. Now next one which there won't be a picture of it, so I'm going to turn away from that. Um, who remembers Rains Park? And this was in the 1950s, I would think. As you go to Rains Park, you've got the station which straddles two like main roads. One of the roads is West Barnes Lane. This is the road we're talking about. There was a shop, an electrical shop, connected, as far as I can remember, it was right next to the station. It was adjacent to the station. It was an electrical shop. And I was shown this by my father to show the type of lamp that was used and what it was it was like a grid on the window on the glass front of the window where the general public look in to see the products there was um, a network arranged in squares so you had copper wire the type of wire that was used in outdoor aerials, supported by insulated hooks. These were little hooks with like a china insert in them, arranged in square. So you had so many verticals and so many horizontal lines, all bare wires. And in the middle of this, you had one side of the network was connected to a bulb holder, bayonet cap bulb holder, with a beehive neon in it. And the other wire, which was insulated from the beehive, obviously went to the power source. And the whole idea was to deter someone from breaking the window and nicking what was ever being shown. 
I've only ever seen this once and I was very young at the time. So if anyone remembers that, it'd be interesting. There was a notice pinned up on the window saying that the window had been electrified. So if, uh, there was a warning there. So now, obviously, you couldn't get away with it now, I don't think. But there were, that was in uh, West Barnes Lane, which is the other side from where I am, or was, from the Range Park Station. So there's a bit of interest there. I don't know when it, when it went, but I do remember it. Now, thirdly, <laughs> they've been talking on the radio today on LBC about um, the lack of houses. Um, they've obviously been very worried about the lack of houses and how much it costs to rent or, or buy a place. It's a phenomenal price. Okay, I was lucky. I still say I was born at the right time that things are you know now are quite a bit different but what I do remember is a building called a prefab now my aunt or cousin to be correct lived in one of these prefabs in East Ham I think it's now called New Ham but it was East Ham at the time in a prefab. Now this was where I think they had two types of prefab. They had the English style and the American style. Well she lived in an American style which had a sloping roof. The English ones had a flat roof. But I remember this prefab well. It was warm. All mod cons in there. Um, Everything was self-contained, beautifully arranged. It was obviously American designed. The electrics, I'd never ever seen anything like it at the time. All the fuses were these uh, cartridge type fuses. And um, they were all laid on a board all numbered to say where they what they served it was really good and as I say these places were easily kept warm the only problem was the height there were only a single floor or a single story so the flue to the fire I remember the fire was a um, a siesta, I think it was called siesta. It was like a slow burner wood, well, not wood, it was coal. I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, the heating of the water was probably done from that fire. I'm not too sure, but um, they were, were very good places. And they were brought in, I think, during the war years and were very popular. How often do you see them now? You don't. My cousin's ones, well, she's been dead a few, few years. Um, where her house was, it's a, I think the area's completely changed, so I probably wouldn't even recognise it if I went there. So that was an idea. Why don't they bring them back? You know, that's a way of cheap housing they were cheap they were well quite good as far as i can remember anyhow that is all i've got to say this time i do like to go back in time people have said i've got a, a good memory i don't know uh, i don't know what happened yes yesterday but I do remember things that happened many years ago and okay I've got lots of anecdotes of things including the boating lake I say a boating lake it obviously wasn't a boating lake but as you can see 
This is a picture of a photograph my father took in the late, well, uh, in the 40s, I would think. So that is more or less all I've got to know. Any comment on that? I'd like to know who, re who remembers any of these, who remembers prefabs. They were a, a cheap way of, of accommodation for families. Could they bring it back or a sim sim similar idea? They keep talking about a lack of housing and how the, um, the council houses were all sold off uh, in times gone by. So it's just a thought. Anyhow, thanks again for listening, putting up with my little ramblings. Yeah, go on, ramblings. Once again, many, many thanks. Thank you.